Hey, everybody. You're probably like me and was excited when you heard that DaVinci was coming to the iPad. Uh, but then you saw that and it was optimized for M2. And you was probably wondering, well, what if I don't have an M2 iPad? Or if I don't have an M1 iPad, what if I have a iPad from 2020? Uh, I figured the best way to see how it would perform would be to make a video on the iPad, edit it on the iPad, and publish it on the iPad. So let's get started. Okay, so we're in DaVinci Resolve, and uh, as you can see, my project settings are set for 4K. Uh, you may have heard that on older iPads, you've got me limited to HD. But as you can see, I've I'm, I'm got a timeline loaded at uh, 4K. Um, my color management just set a regular uh, Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. And I've got a couple of lo uh, clips loaded. The first clip is the intro you just saw. And it's uh, recorded in uh, ProRes. Um, and a little side note, if you have the uh, ProTake app, uh, on the iPad, it will allow you to record in ProRes 8-bit. And then the second clip I have is uh, just some Blackmagic raw footage uh, from Blackmagic's uh, website. And I've done a little bit of grading to both, as you can see, and I just wanted to show you just how well it uh, plays back. So let's get started. As you can see, it's buttery smooth playback. I mean, this actually plays back better than it does on my M1 Mac Mini. This is amazing. So, and uh, so, um, we'll go to export. Oh, there it is. So if you're going to export it, um, like for YouTube, just know that if you want to do anything other than uh, H.264, you're going to have to do a um, up here and then upload it manually. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, this wasn't a long video. I just wanted to show you just kind of how well it ran on uh, an older iPad Pro. So there you go. Thanks for watching.